Hello everyone and thank you for watching. My name is Carrie and I'm a librarian with the Elyria Public Library. Today we're going to be looking through the catalog at some Juneteenth fiction books as written by African American authors. Okay, so first of all, what is Juneteenth? Juneteenth, also known as Emancipation Day, is a holiday celebrating the end of slavery in the United States. Juneteenth is celebrated on June 19th to mark the anniversary of African Americans in Texas learning from the Union Army of the Emancipation Proclamation and their freedom in 1865, two years after the original issue of the proclamation. Juneteenth is celebrated through prayer, speeches, festivals, educational events, family gatherings, and so on. It is recognized as a state or ceremonial holiday in 47 states as well as the District of Columbia. First off, we have The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. It has recently been released as a miniseries on Amazon Prime, and it was the winner of the 2017 Pulitzer Prize, among others. The Underground Railroad is speculative fiction focusing on the runaway slave Cora and her attempts to flee north. In Whitehead's novel, The Underground Railroad is an actual railroad that transports Cora to what first seems to be freedom in South Carolina, but sinister motives lurk beneath the people's good intentions. Next is Homegoing by Ya Jesse, and this was a nominee for the 2017 Andrew Carnegie Medal for Excellence in Fiction and longlisted for the Dayton Literary Peace Prize. Homegoing is the story of two Ghanaian half-sisters and their descendants. Effie stays in Ghana, married to the governor of the Cape Coast Castle. Essie is captured from her village and sent to America in chains. Homegoing follows Effie's descendants as they endure turmoil in Ghana and Essie's descendants as they endure slavery and reconstruction in America. Jubilee follows the life of Viri, a character heavily based on Margaret Walker's great-grandmother throughout the antebellum, civil war, and reconstruction eras. Viri is a mixed-race slave, the unacknowledged daughter of the plantation's master. She falls in love with a free man, and together they plan to flee to the north. However, the plantation's master dies, leaving Viri no protection from his wife, and she finds herself still trapped at the Shady Oaks plantation. Conjure Women is the winner of the 2021 Society of American Historians Prize for Historical Fiction, and it explores the life of emancipated slaves following the Civil War and throughout Reconstruction. Set on a ruined plantation, the story follows Rue, daughter of the town's healer, as she tries to follow in her mother's footsteps while keeping secrets of her own. The Water Dancer was the first pick for Oprah's book club revival in 2019. Hiram Walker cannot remember the mother who was sold away from him when he was a child. However, a vision of her dancing flashes across his vision while crossing water. When he falls into the water but doesn't drown, he learns he holds the power of conduction, the power to transport himself and others across long distances through water. Hiram eventually uses his gift to become involved with the Underground Railroad. And finally, we have Beloved by Toni Morrison. It was adapted into a film in 1998 by Oprah Winfrey and was also the winner of the 1988 Pulitzer Prize. Beloved explores the lasting damage of slavery even after emancipation and reconstruction. Setha, a former runaway slave, is living with her daughter in a house that they are sure is haunted by the ghost of Setha's first daughter. When another former slave from Setha's old plantation arrives, he manages to drive out the ghost. However, a ragged young woman also arrives, and her arrival throws Setha's family into chaos as long-buried secrets are revealed. So if you're interested in any of these titles, feel free to visit or call any Elyria branch. If we don't have it on the shelf, we can definitely get it in. Also, check out the, the links at the bottom of this video. They will take you directly to the catalog, and you can place a hold from the comfort of your own home if you like. So once again, thank you for watching this book talk on Jubilee Era Fiction as written by African American authors. Please don't forget to check out the other videos on the Elyria Library channel. We have more book talks, craft videos, story times, you name it. And again, thank you for watching and have a great day.